Oh, he's like, sit up straight. Sit up. <laughs> okay, we are recording. Come yes. In. Five, four, three. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest, Stephen Barber. Hello. A documentary filmmaker, mm -hmm. and you have a new film. I do, uh, here in 2019. I shot it last year in 2018. Yeah, uh, these. Uh, this is called the Military Six Pack. This is uh, six films that I've done. This is my newest film here. It's called The World's Most Dangerous Paper Route. Phenomenal movie. I mean, it's the best thing we've ever done. Uh, Steve Croft from 60 Minutes was kind enough to narrate it. Stars and Stripes is a military newspaper that goes to all of our troops downrange. Downrange is the colloquialism for in harm's way, you know, behind enemy lines. So I went to Syria. I went down to Iraq. We went to uh, Kuwait, and we went to Afghanistan and we followed the men and women of Stars and Stripes and followed the story of this really noble historic newspaper. I mean, there are a lot of documentary filmmakers out there, and we had some on our shows too, but what you were pursuing is particularly poignant because it's dangerous. Yeah, well, what it, made you go into it? Well, I can't tell you that I wanted to go to Afghanistan or Syria. That wasn't my goal, but that's where the story leads us in. As a documentary filmmaker, you get the story and you always think you know where the story, what it is. Yeah. You have a template, yeah. but it's like it's, like it's like a souffle. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's like a souffle. You don't know whether it's going to rise to a, a good level or if it's just going to be flat or if it's going to be okay. This was, this was the best souffle we've ever made. Uh, I work with a great director named Matthew Housley, uh, who's just a great guy. Uh, Tamara Henry, one of our producers. Bart White, one of our producers. And we took it to Steve Croft, who, who's obviously one of the biggest anchors in the world, 60 Minutes. His first job was at Stars and Stripes in 1971. Oh, wow. Okay. So he got out of high school, got out of college, went straight into Vietnam and became a full-fledged reporter. So he was not only the, one of the stars of our movie, he was the narrator. Okay, and then during this process of filming, this documentary, what was something that really surprised you? Well, what surprised me, and it was going to surprise all of Americans, we have probably the greatest, without, you know, it's this simple. Without the United States military, the world would be thrust into darkness. That simple. The young men and women of this country, some of them out on five, six, seven tours, what they're doing for America for a very small paycheck and very little recognition is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of the United States military. And when you see a vet and you know a vet, to say hi to them and, and thank them for their service yeah. because what they're doing, we can never repay them. We just can't repay them. Okay. And then uh, where can people see your... We just uh, got a big deal with DirecTV. Uh, Hulu's going to pick us up. We're talking to Netflix. Uh, I'm working with Vision Films, a terrific Lisa Romanoff. Over, thank you, Lisa. Lisa Romanoff at Vision Films. And it's just a really, it's a high honor. People can go to our website, vanillafire.com. But we consider ourselves the most noble film company in America. We don't make a lot of money, but we make a hell of a difference. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, all the veterans out there, thank you for your service. And, uh, <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Be bold. Fortune favors the bold.